And now, a Tennessee man tells police he stole a semi and caused several wrecks because he was running away from zombies. Police say 19 year old Jeremiah Hartline stowed away in a truck in Tennessee and stole it when the driver got out at a stop in California. He took off, speeding and swerving, causing several crashes and injuring seven people. Police say it ended with the big rig overturned, spilling strawberries all over the interstate. Now, he told police he was fleeing from the walking dead. Hartline pled guilty yesterday to assault with a deadly weapon, hit and run, and vehicle theft charges. He could get up to five years in prison. First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. You know what's most upsetting about that story? Strawberries. The strawberries all over the freeway. I knew you were say that. Yeah, I love strawberries. Walking dead. Come on. Anyway, 46 degrees in Bowling Green. Looking at First Alert Live Doppler radar, nothing going on out there. Everything is fine. We've got just a few high clouds this morning. Really no issues with fog or certainly not frost, not with 46 degrees as our current temperature. In fact, as we look at temperatures across the Mesonet network, cooler out to the east. There is a 39 in Burksville, but that's down in the valley. That'll come up pretty quickly. 40 in Campbellsville, a cool spot there. 42 in Munfordville. As you move west, temperatures warming into the upper 40s to even low to mid 50s. That's where the southerly wind is beginning to kick in. And that southerly wind, that breeze, is going to be with us starting today and for the next several days all across south central Kentucky, including Nolan River Lake. That's our hometown forecast today, including Litchfield and Grayson County. You'll see a high today around 80 degrees, 81 maybe for Munfordville and Hart County, Brownsville and Edmondson County, a high of 82 under a sunny sky. And as we were talking about a little bit earlier, of course, our hometown forecast is brought to you by the Kentucky Lottery and the Powerball jackpot for tomorrow night estimated to be at $350 million. Well, Mega Millions is estimated to be at $170 million. Here's a look at the air quality, and we have uh, issues here with the trees and grasses. In the pollen count, moderately high today. Even the ozone has now come up into the moderate category. So we have some issues here as far as air quality over south central Kentucky. Only the molds are in the low category. UV index is in the high and the red zone, and it's going to stay there for a while. Here's a view from our live AAA systems Doppler cam. Beautiful sky over Bowling Green at this hour and a current temperature of 46 degrees. The winds are now out of the south-southeast, and we'll begin to see a southwest wind as we get into the afternoon. A little breezy at times, humidity 89%, and the barometer is starting to rise. Here's a look at the Glasgow AAA Systems weather cam. Beautiful clear sky there, 47 degrees, current temperature in Glasgow, 51 in Franklin, the Simpson County Courthouse you see there. And then uh, Mammoth Cave National Park, a little bit of patchy fog there, not too bad though. Temperature at 47. It is 46 at the Bowling Green Airport, 63 Memphis, 59 St. Louis, 53 Indianapolis. Look at that cool 35 Charleston. The chilly air we had yesterday, the frosty air, it has moved into the Virginias, even the Carolinas this morning on the east side of a high pressure system that's sitting right over us. Five degrees warmer this morning than yesterday, but look at the almost 20 degree jump in temperature back to the west because of that southwesterly wind flow. As mentioned, high pressure sitting right on top of us. So now that it begins to move a little further east, we're going to get that southerly wind flow here today and for the next several days as the high pressure center moves off to the south and east. But its ridge is pretty expansive here. In fact, it's going to act as a blocking mechanism to this next front. That is going to be our next weather maker. And as we get toward the end of the week into the weekend, that front is going to bring us some scattered shower chances. Not a washout, not the soggy weather that we experienced during the Kentucky Derby weekend and the weekend before that. This is going to be scattered in nature starting, say, tomorrow evening as the front gets a little closer to us. There you see the scattered showers. And then Thursday onward, we're going to find some shower chances in the seven-day forecast. But today, though, mostly sunny, breezy, and warmer, a high of 83. The winds 10 to 15, maybe even close to 20 at times. 
62, mainly clear and mild for tonight. Up to 86, a very warm day tomorrow. With those warm breezes and a slight chance of a shower tomorrow night. Thursday, scattered showers and a high of 82. After that, we're talking 20 to 30 percent chances here that you may see an isolated to widely scattered shower through the weekend. Not a washout by any means. High temperatures will stay in the 80s, which is running eh, about five degrees above average.